Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got an unboxing. We haven't had an unboxing for a while. This one's different for me because for the first time ever, and I never thought I'd say this, I bought a Sony camera. And not only that, but a point and shoot Sony camera. I never thought that day would come, but it has a spot that it fills in for my need, and we'll get into that. But first off, I am not sponsored by Sony. This was not given to me to do any kind of review on. I bought this and the creator bundle with my own hard-earned money. So the review is my honest opinion. This one is just gonna be an unboxing. I am gonna do a full testing of this, including nighttime and everything else. We're gonna run it through as paces like I do with all the gear I have and give you guys an honest review of what I think of it. Now, the reason why I got it is doing YouTube, I film myself all the time. And it's very difficult when I'm using a camera, I need another camera to film me and I wanted to upgrade it. So I'm not looking at the Sony ZV-1 to uh, be a photo camera. I bought it for its video capabilities. Now, if you've ever heard the older Nikon, like the Nikon D800, autofocus, it's terrible to begin with for video, and it sounds like me when I was learning to drive a standard. It is horrendous. The video quality, once you get the video locked like it is now, fantastic quality from it. But the autofocus, no. So I need this to film me while I'm doing other things. That's why I got this. The autofocus on this from the reviews I've seen and everything that's going on with it looks absolutely phenomenal. That's one of the main reasons why I've got it. I love the flip out screen. I use the Osmo Pocket sometimes to record myself, but if you've ever tried looking at a one inch screen from 15 feet away, not easy. And even if I hook it up to my cell phone, it's still not the greatest setup to use to film myself. I still will use it in conjunction with this so I can get a couple of angles, but this is gonna fill that video need that I needed. So. Anyways, that's enough of me babbling. I just wanted to let you know I'm not sponsored by this. This is on my own, my hard-earned cash, as I said. So let's open this and see what we get in the box. And we have our standard little uh, bit of paperwork here, reference guide, limited warranty. Ta-da, your wonderful paperwork. And just a note reminder, camera battery not in. And boy, you don't get much in the box. He's pretty bare bones. First off, we have a USB to micro USB cable. We have meow, our dead cat windscreen, whichever way you like to call it. And that's one nice thing with this camera. It's got a hot shoe. So this will just fit on. That will be perfect. Uh, what else we got here? Ooh, that's the camera. And, boy, that's pretty empty. Got to be a battery here somewhere. There it is. Oh, man. That is a tiny battery from what I'm used to. Oh, my God. That is tiny. That's a tiny battery. Seriously, to what I'm used to, that is small. Wow. But, supposedly has reasonable life. I have been looking at some third-party batteries, and uh, I may pick up one. I saw there was a set of like three batteries in the charger for like 50 bucks or something like that. So I may look into that down the road. We'll give this a test, and we'll see what kind of battery life we get with this. But here's our camera. It's a little heavier than I thought, but it's so tiny. Oh my God. Yeah, this is tiny compared to my uh, big Nikon DSLR, but yeah. It's actually a little heavier than I thought it was. Yeah, it's pretty much all plastic. Uh, from my understanding, it's not weather sealed at all. So you have to be aware of that. But this is going to be so handy. And the screen rotates. That, in my opinion, is very cool. Now, I know they call this a vlogging camera. I don't really vlog, especially for YouTube. I do little bits here and there, maybe in conjunction with the video, but I, I'm not really a vlogger. When I go on holidays, I do some vlogging for a family and for myself for videos, but not necessarily for YouTube. And 
I honestly can't see myself turning into a vlogger. There will be times when I do some little uh, vlog bits here and there, as they say within a video, but yeah, that screen is very cool. I have ordered a uh, screen protector for this. When that comes in, I'll show you that. That's kind of a little added accessory, but this is very cool. And the one thing I like with this is the screen will rotate and you can put the screen inside. So now it's protected. That is a very cool feature. I absolutely love that. But yeah, no lens cap needed because it self closes like most point and shoots. One thing I am really happy with this little piece of uh, rubber here. I'm used to having a, a grip, actually a big grip on mine. Uh, so if it wasn't there, it would feel really strange. At least this does have a bit of a grip. There's no viewfinder or anything. You're, you're always using the, uh, the panel, but yeah. So that is your camera. That's what you get in the box. One thing I wish they would have put in the box, because like I say, I am not a Sony shooter, uh, would have been a wall charger for the battery. That would have been very handy in my opinion. Now I do have um, USB chargers for various other things, but it would have been nice in my opinion, especially for the price of this, if Sony included it. Now, I did wait to buy this. You know, I wasn't first out of the gate to uh, grab this because I was hesitant about it. I wanted to see what the flaws were and everything else. And honestly, the price out the gate was, in my opinion, not worth it. I got all this on sale. It makes it a little more uh, easier to swallow for a point and shoot camera. But from everything I've seen, phenomenal video quality and the focus, oh, fantastic. So that I'm looking forward to. All right, let's open this little vlogger kit up here. And we'll see what we get in here, but you're supposed to get, it shows here the uh, remote tripod, a bag and uh, an SD card. So that is quite good. So you kind of get everything you need to get yourself going. Now, I know the one complaint with this camera is it's not wide enough for when you're vlogging. Like I said, I'm not really a vlogger, so that's not really an issue. Okay, we have our memory card here, 4K UHS-2, not the fastest card in the world, but it's a 64 gig and it should be more than fast enough for this camera. So that's nice that that's included within the pack and a box within a box and that's our grip we get well yeah it's just different language of manuals on how to use the grip and all your components set that aside and this is our little bag Yeah, it's kind of a little microfiber type bag to store the uh, the little tripod piece in. A lot of people don't use these. I do sometimes. Uh, it just helps protect it when you're throwing it in your bag. And the battery for the uh, tripod. It's what I call a watch battery. But there you go. Let's have a look at this grip. Uh, like I said, new to Sony. Never seen this stuff really. Yeah, it's a little bigger than I thought it was, but that is very cool. It turns into a little tripod. Yeah, it's got a bit of rubber on the uh, the feet part here, just so it uh, does a bit of a grip. And your adjustment stuff here, and a button on the side which releases the head. So you got a button here. And you've also got uh, control here to tighten it. And you have your normal little spin wheel here to uh, tighten the camera down onto it. You've got your photo button, movie button, uh, telephoto wide angle, your customizable button, and a lock bat uh, button there. So yeah, battery compartment just in the back here. So yeah, that is quite cool. Let's get some power into this stuff. Get this synced with this. So I'll show you how to sync the two together. And uh, yeah, so that's basically what you get with the Creator Pack. You get the camera, you get your little dead cat, and I'm so glad they included that. The battery, memory card, your tripod, which is also your remote control, 
which for me is handy. If I'm 15 feet away from this thing, out trying to do a video for you guys, I can control this, slide this in my back pocket, away we go. Fantastic. And it comes with a little bag. So that's what you get with the Creator Kit. Like I say, let's get some power into this and uh, get this all synced up. All right, so let's get the battery in this. Turn this upside down. Got a little lock here. As I say, there's no weather sealing on this whatsoever. You just simply insert your battery. There's a little blue clip here that helps hold this in. And the space in the back here is for your memory card. So battery goes in here, memory card in there. That's it for that. Oh, and then you have to slide this across. It doesn't snap across. Now I've already put the uh, battery in this. This, I should say, is weather sealed. I'm quite pleased to see that, but honestly with two together, it doesn't matter because you can't get this soaked where this could take a bit of water. But there you go. Now the one cool thing with this is, as soon as you, if you have the screen rotated to the inside, then when you open this, then it auto ons. That is very cool. I was really surprised with that. You can see the little indicator light on the top there. So when I shut that, boom, power off. How cool is that? So when the screen is turned to the inside, open this up and it's really quick to come on. So very quick. All right, I'm just gonna get this set up and then uh, we'll work on pairing this together and get them talking. So I'm just gonna lay this down so you can see this a little better. And then you simply, well, I just love how fast that is. And, and it's on like right away. That is very, very cool. So all we need to do now is I need to pair it. So I need to come into the menu. And if you use the function uh, button, you can jump the menus at the top because I've discovered one thing with Sony already, their menus on their cameras, horrendous. It's gonna take me a while to get through all the uh, different controls and settings, but we've got this one worked out. So the first thing we wanna do is go to the Bluetooth setting and make sure that we're turned on. So we're on there then come back and then I need to come down to Bluetooth remote control and I need to turn that on. Okay, as you can see now, it is in the on position and what I need to do here is I need to hold the photo and the uh, zoom together and it should start the pairing process on this. The battery's almost dead on that too. Supposedly you gotta hold this for about seven seconds. There we go, saying allow this device, hit OK, and it is now connected, and I can come out of the menu, and I should be able to use the, there you go. So, this controls the camera now. That is very cool. That's how easy it is to set up. So again, you go to your menu, go to Bluetooth, turn your Bluetooth on. Come back out to the menu, go to the Bluetooth remote control, turn it on, you get the screen, give you the little notification, and then you simply hold photo and the zoom for, you saw that about maybe six, seven seconds, for it to connect to the camera. Then you just simply, once it's connected, you accept and trust that device, you just hit okay, okay, and then you're up and functioning. So that is very good. So I haven't got the memory card in here yet, but at least it allows you to do all that without the memory card in. So this closes off really good. On the top here is your, maybe, there we go, that's in there tight, your hot shoe mount, where it, this is your microphone area here. So the hot shoe just simply slides in your little dead cat, windscreen, whatever you want to call it, and there you have it. That is a cool little vlogging rig. As I say, this just simply attaches by screwing on. And pop open, ready to go. That is very cool. I quite like this little setup. It feels really good in the hand. It's got a decent weight to it. 
I was so worried that it was going to be so light because I'm used to holding on to a heavy camera and I kind of like this piece here on the back because it allows me to put my finger in there and give me some control. Now, they do say, and that's one of the downsides I keep hearing about this, is the lens is not wide enough, but it's not wide enough for vlogging maybe. But like I told you, I'm not going to be doing a lot of vlogging, so that shouldn't be an issue. And I have seen you can get a wide angle lens for this, so you can increase that. But yeah, it's something that I'm going to have to play with. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be really handy. But we're going to get into this. We're going to do uh, time lapse. We're going to do hyperlapse. We're going to test this thing at nighttime. We're going to run it through all its paces. I'm going to do a bit of logging with it. So I'm going to play with it for a bit, get used to it, especially that menu. Not too keen on Sony's menus. Man, that's horrendous. But we're getting into it all. I'll do a really good review for this. I'll give you my honest opinion of what I think of the Sony ZV-1. No, I didn't jump at it right away. I know there's tons of this stuff on the web already, but I'm not sponsored. You're getting my honest review because I paid for it because it's something that I wanted. So. I'm pretty sure I won't be disappointed with the unit, but there we go, the Sony ZV-1. If you've got one, you got any problems, or you're thinking about getting one, let me know down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are uh, thinking about the Sony ZV-1, if you've already had it and had it for a while. What do you like, what do you don't like? Let me know. So that's it for this one. Like I say, it's been a while since I've had an unboxing, and uh, yeah, new toy to play with. Happy birthday to me. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're aware when I post new videos. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. So, until the next time.